Hello and welcome back to another video. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different wrapping up the month of February because didn't really get a lot of games per se. Um, I got some stuff that, you know, it wasn't things like I went out and bought it. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. Um, now a lot of the games I played this month were downloaded onto, you know, PS4, 360, One, whatever, whatever you have there. Um, so when I get to games like that, I'll just have them kind of appear over this way and maybe some other stuff will show up there. Who knows? Let's see. So the first thing that I was playing a lot of this month um, were <laughs> these CDRs. And um, basically what's on each one of these, um, there are a lot of homebrew games on the Dreamcast. And a lot of them are based off of what's called Beats of Rage. Now, Beats of Rage is basically Streets of Rage, but they took the engine of the game, kind of reskinned it over and over. And there's so much, there's so many of them that you, you name a franchise and I'm sure you're going to find it. For example, um, there's one that's not here because it's actually still in the Dreamcast, but it, it didn't seem to work after, I think, stage two. Um, it was called Codename Sailor V, which I know is a show, comic, all that kind of stuff. It was based off of Sailor Moon. And that one, it's, it's got Sailor V and Katarina, which was the police officer. And you just go around, you know, you beat up the bad guys, all that kind of stuff. But it, it didn't seem to work after stage two. Um, there's, these games are kind of funny to try to find anybody playing them online. I've only found one video on across the whole internet of that game and it worked for that guy so I, I think I might just have to try burning another copy um, this one it has an S on it S stands for Splatterhouse it's the Splatterhouse trilogy so it's all the Splatterhouse games recreated in Beats of Rage but it has you know you, you, you don't want to think of it as it's just being Streets of Rage with the characters replaced, the backgrounds are replaced, the music's replaced, the effects are replaced, the attacks are replaced, the controls are switched around a little. Each one is unique, and if it wasn't for the fact that when you put them in, it says starting uh, Beats of Rage, you wouldn't know that you're playing a Beats of Rage game. Um, the last one is actually an Ed Ed and Eddie game, which is why it says E E N E. Um, it's basically, you can pick one of the three and you just go around. Um, the first level, Plank is attacking you and you, you're, you know, if you choose Ed, you know, you like headbutt him and all that kind of stuff. Um, that one's actually probably my least favorite out of the three that I've gotten. Just because it, it seems like the sound effects are repeated way too much. Every time you attack, you make the same sound. Every time you get hit, you make the same sound. But it's interesting, there's not a lot of Ed and Eddie games out there. Now the last one, um, <laughs> let me see if I remember it, it's, I'm pretty sure it's called Volgar, which was a game that was released on Steam, and the guy who made the game decided that he wanted to port it over to the Dreamcast. I think it was either him or somebody asked him if they could. And the guy who created it said, oh yeah, sure, yeah, we'll just make that a, like a downloadable thing. If you can download and burn yourself a copy, go right ahead. Now this isn't Beats of Rage. This is completely separate. This is kind of like, I don't want to say like a Ghosts and Goblins thing, but it's, it's, it's an adventure. It's a very hard adventure. And it reminds me of something you'd see like Super Nintendo Genesis era. Now, moving on from my homebrew stuff, I have been playing a lot of The Last of Us put this over here. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of The Last of Us and I think I'm about halfway through because I know this is going to be the second one and I wanted to play through this before I had the second one just so I can start off with that one knowing exactly what happened. Um, this is the remastered edition obviously. It's just been revamped for the PS4 over the original one which I was on the PS3. Now, most of the time, I don't go for remasters. There's been a slight exception once in a while. This being one of them. And God of War 1 and 2, I got the HD collection on the PS3. But usually, I go for the originals. But I saw how good this looked. Um, this was the first PS4 game I saw, but not the first one I played. 
I think I just saw this one. <laughs> Don't remember. Moving on from there, we're gonna get into some of the digital stuff I've been playing. Um, a lot of it, honestly, has made it into a video. Like Dungeon Siege 3, I've been playing a lot of that. I have been playing a lot of Minecraft, both on the computer and on the 360. Um, the 360 version is easier to do two-player with because I, I know how to set up a server. I've done it. My gaming PC, which is right down there, um, has all the stuff still in it, ready to go for a server. However, then I have to get to another computer, have that set up. It's a little bit of a hassle, so I decided, you know, we'll just do the 360 version for two-player. Um, I might show a video of that sometime coming in March. Um, just to show what I've done. There's a lot of, see that one we've been playing on and off for a long time. And we've built tons of buildings, um, pathways. I built a hotel. Um, I'm building a giant watermelon building. It, you know, there's a lot of stuff in that one. Now going into movies, I've been watching a lot of Netflix. I've been trying to catch up on the Star Wars Clone Wars before that gets removed from Netflix on the 7th. Um, I've watched it on and off. When it was on TV, I watched it sometimes. But the problem is when it's on TV, it's out of order. And even if you were to buy the Blu-rays or DVD, whatever you have, you, um, it's still out of order. So what I've been doing, there's a list on Reddit where you just click the episode name and it's in chronological order showing you from this beginning of what would be as close to episode two as possible. Now I know it's, it doesn't seem too close to episode two, but it's as close as possible before moving on to episode three. They throw the movie in there too. I've seen the movie so many times that I kind of skipped over it this time. I'm mostly focusing on the episodes. Other than that, I watched The Money Pit, which is an old classic from the 80s with Tom Hanks. Very funny movie. And the last movie that I really wanted to mention was The Angry Birds Movie, which is on Netflix. I watched that and I have to say, not, yeah, it's not something that I would say deserves awards and stuff, but it wasn't bad. Um, the story is decently okay. The animation is incredible, which I'm going to do a quick review on that coming up in March. So I'll give you a lot more details on why I thought, you know, they put a lot of effort in that movie. And I think if they hadn't done that, I wouldn't have cared so much about it. In other news, I have been reading the Star Wars Catalyst book, which is the prequel to Rogue One. It is amazing so far. I'm only on the third chapter, but so far it's, it's giving the backstory to Galen and his wife. And basically it shows this weapon that he was developing. It really explains what it was for, what it was doing, where it was, what happened. There's so much about if you read this book before you saw Rogue One, Rogue One makes so much more sense. It also makes the characters seem so much more important. And I know if you watch everything and read everything, it, it adds to it too. Of course, there's some characters from the TV shows that are in Rogue One, and there's a lot of this book leads up to that. So if you haven't checked that one out, definitely do it. And then I know Rogue One's coming out in April on Blu-ray and get that again, you know, just kind of connect the stories together. So yeah, that's about it for the month of February. Um, a lot of the music I've been listening to, I will be covering in March, just as part of uh, like a highlight on music, I guess you can say, that I want to do for next month. But you'll be seeing that very shortly as well. Um, but other than that, let me know what you've been doing in February, and I'll see you next time.